Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Tolman. Officials releasing some new information tonight about the arrests of five armed men right near a Luzerne County High School. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live in the studio with the latest from investigators. Madonna. Nick, concerns are running high within the Wilkes-Barre Area School District. Several gang members were arrested on school property Wednesday, where police say they were trespassing with weapons and a loaded handgun. We believe by making this stop, uh, the members of the Wilkes-Barre Area School District and Plains Police were able to divert uh, an attack which could have seriously injured numerous individuals and possibly resulted in death. Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sanguidolce held a news conference Thursday with the Plains Township Police Department. Do you have anything to say, guys? Any comment? New information is coming to light on the arrests of five armed men on the campus of Wilkes-Barre Area High School. Uh, I hesitate to add that uh, it was immediately upon getting the driver out of the vehicle that the officers noticed a handgun inside the door panel, which led to the recovery of several uh, other weapons. 18-year-old Nick Leike, 18-year-old Jesus Gonzalez, 19-year-old Hector Vasquez Colon, 20-year-old Danny Salazar Para, and 21-year-old Arianzi Osorio Paredes were arraigned Wednesday night on felony gun charges. According to court documents, Gonzalez was expelled from Wilkes-Barre Area High School last year for allegedly threatening to shoot a teacher. While a motive remains unknown, police say three of the men admitted to being members of the Trinitarios street gang. Uh, we're seeing more prevalence with not just that gang, but the many gangs uh, that have come to Luzerne County. Sanguidolce credits the swift actions of school resource officers and Plains Township Police. With them recalling for our assistance and they advised us we were right there at the right time. Students, teachers and members of the public are encouraged to report suspicious activity. It is because of these reports that we're able to stop serious incidents and it is our you know, devoted, uh, we're devoted to continuing to keep all of the schools in Wilkes-Barre uh, and throughout Luzerne County safe. All five suspects are jailed at the Luzerne County Correctional Facility for lack of posting $1 million cash bail each. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for November 9th. Nick? Oh, Sharp-eyed police really on it. That, that's for sure, Madonna. Thank you.